I will start. Um, this is a, this is a, a film I'm going to show a little bit later, and um, but I will start to talk about little my about myself. Um, I'm reading from this because um, it's English. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, okay, some about uh, earlier project I have made, and then about uh, we have a dream project that uh, you can see here, the exhibited here at this museum. Uh, after that, I will show you some pictures and talk more loosely about uh, the work progress uh, when it comes to taking pitch portraits. Um, it's okay to interrupt me during the. I think it's easier for me uh, to find myself comfortable. Uh, my name is Albert Viking, and um, um, I don't use to call me a, a photographer. Um, I see myself more like some who builds bridges between pictures and the people in my portraits and their stories. Uh, for me, the, the goal behind my pictures is always to make people read the st their, their stories. They say that the picture says more than a thousand words, and uh, in some cases it's, um, it's, it's really true. In very rare cases, pictures in, in themselves says everything that's necessary. There are some great examples of when a picture says it all. I think about uh, Nick Uth's picture of the naked Vietnamese, Vietnamese girl who is fleeing from napalm bombing during the war in Vietnam, became in itself a symbol for the anti-war movement. Um, another example is the picture of the dead three years old refugee boy, Helen Kurdi, on the beach in Turkey. This picture became the symbol of the refugees' crisis in Syria. I'm not the type of photography as Violetta. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not a press photographer. I'm not a documentary um, uh, uh, um, I'm that travel around the world to take pictures of in injustices and or people in distress or other, f but, um, um, but I still want to, s to do something to promote change, courage, and inspire people to follow their dreams in my and uh, Oscar's way. Um, I, want to, I want people to look at my pictures to be able to relate the to the people inside them. This is very important for me, that you can listen, feel them the people in, uh, in the exhibition and, and they are close to you and you can feel their, their, their nerve oil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, sometimes I feel like a, a fisherman. The, to be able to catch a fish, you, you need a, a good bite. And uh, for me, the, uh, the picture on my bite. And uh, I'm trying to create pictures that are interesting enough for for the viewer to feel and uh, urge, urge to read uh, the, the text. Um, I wanted to show you a video right now, um, early project called Firewater on English and Eldvatten på svenska. That deals with the issue of, of alcohol and alcoholism. So I, I, I put it on and then I uh, keep on talking. You can now you can look at this. English here. So, nay, nay. Du kommer. Vad heter du? Ola. 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 Hej. Så nu nu hamnar fokus där. Så himla skönt. Alkoholism is is in in many cases a taboo to talk about. But, in, but it's something that everyone can relate to all over the world. No matter, no matter your background, social status, or what part of the world you are from, alcoholism exists everywhere, and it's one of our time's biggest issues. In Firewater, we interviewed and portrayed famous and unknown Swedish people ab about things we usually don't talk about, experience with alcohol and alcoholism. I wanted to show that the alcoholic is not just a picture of men and women. 
uh, drinking at the bench outside your local grocery store. It's everyone and it's everywhere. The alcoholic can be your mom, your dad, your dentist, your tobacconist, uh, the bus driver, so on and so on. Alcohol, alcohol has no gender, no eth eth ethnicity, uh, no social status. As you can see in the video, um, that was a Swedish queen, uh, I chose to use a very big format of the picture because I wanted to create, that I told you before, the feeling that the people in the portraits were almost physically um, present in the exhibition hall. I also chose to have a quite big format on the We Have a Dream exhibition you can see here. Um, because um, because uh, I wanted to s the same feeling this, this time. Um, it's a human right to live a life without the inferno of alcoholism. But we have a huge of life, a huge of other problems in the world. Um, I can turn it off. Um, um, Every day we read about horrors and injustices that happen all over the, our world. I and Oscar felt frustrated and wanted to contribute and attempt to make things better in our way. We decided to collect people from all over the world and tell their stories. Our vision was to let them share the experience and let them inspire the viewers of this exhibition and book project to start dreaming and to realize their dreams, their or hope or courage. Um, we are bit We are born in different countries, in different circumstances. People are on, are on run from wars, um, famine and droughts. Countries are closing their borders. Presidents are building walls. Some people enjoy and ab ab abundance of wealth and so ever fled um, while either others live close to the nature in difficult conditions some risk their lives to go to school while others to take their rights to education for granted we have a dream is about people who have who have refused to accept defeat and have shown that nothing is impossible here and sung young heroes rub shoulders with noble laureates. Also, unga, okända sida vid sida med Nobelpristagare, aktivister och entreprenörer och så vidare. Uh, Malala Yousafzai, one of the, the participants in We Have a Dream, was shot in her head for fighting for a girl's rights to education in, in, in um, Pakistan. Uh, for Ida Engblom, uh, also in the, in the project from Sweden, school became a nightmare of bullying and fear. Malala was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for her struggle. Ida is passionate about helping both those who are bullied and those who bully them. Malala and Ida both have a dream and they are both willing to stand up for their um, convictions. Also uh, we have a dream is not about saints or superheroes. Nobody here is infallible. The, the only difference between the people in this project and the rest of us is that some point they left their comfort zone, went against the mainstream, defied their fears and decided to make a change. Their stories are moving and thought-provoking and their voices present a down-to-earth picture of the darkest and the brightest side of life. During this project, we have met um, spirited companions from all over the world of vari uh, varying age and financial means, and each and every of their stories is equ equally important. As alla är lika mycket värda, oavsett om du är känd eller okänd. Uh, now I'm going to show you some pictures from the exhibition. As you may understand, many of the portrait person is in this exhibition is extremely hard to get hold of 
Och det är liksom Oskar som har skött all kontakten. Oskar kan ta håller kontakt med det interviews and participants and uh, and it's even harder to get them to participate di in this kind of project you know you you more famous you are this easier eh 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 spåra att uh, få med dem i sånt här projekt liksom de är mån om sina varumärken och så vidare uh, a lot of the time we have been forced to take the picture and do The interviews were very little time, often between meetings or seminars. The difficulty is trying to create an, an interesting picture that makes the viewer curious about um, the portrait person. If you only have a short amount of time, you're often forced to use the environment where the person you are about to photograph happens to be, which is this project most often than not, in, uh, uh, than not is hotels. This is just how it is, and um, you have to accept the, the situation that you sometimes just have some few minutes to, to make an interview and take a picture of a person that you know is going to be a part of the, the exhibition, and you have to the most liksom, you have to uh, stå up for bilden, and it's quite frustrating. But this how this 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 is something, and the only thing you can do is try and make the best of a bad situation. Um. Oi! <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> okay, there. Okay. <laughs> um. uh, yeah, uh, uh, behind uh, at the uh, exhibition, this, uh, this is a, a picture I've ta t taken and then In the exhibition, there is a um, um, shield design on the on the side that you can read about uh, uh, what what uh, in this case uh, Abbas Ahmadi why, what he's saying, a short text from the, the from the longer texts from the book. Uh, Abadi he, he came as a refugee from Afghanistan to Sweden and started immediately to work to help children refugees uh, that come to Sweden. <laughs> Uh, many many flee has to cross the Medi Mediterranean Sea to get to Europe, and so I uh, I wanted to uh, how how can I some uh, illustrate a, a boy have some have been flee all over the year uh, all over the the North Africa during Italy, so I I t take a picture of of of, of him uh, in in the water, uh, and that's. So it looked like uh, the problem was um, he was very youthfully. How do you say it in English? Sensitive light. Yeah, very. So I need a, a, a umbrella. This for his eyes. So um, there is um, Amos Oz, Israeli author and advocate for peace, and. Um, The reason he is in the in the project is that that's uh, I think uh, the Jew Jewish people and the uh, Islamic people can live in the same house. You don't need to live in the same apartment. They don't need to e love each other. But the only way to compromise, um, we talk about you talk about that before, yeah. Um, and when I t uh, I can take this picture uh, next. Yeah. Uh, at the uh, at the beginning of the project, I use a, a very simple gi digital camera uh, because I wanted to show that you can you don't need expensive equipment to to take this kind of project. Um, the problem with this, with the camera is that when you take a take a shot, it takes one and a half second in when you can see how <laughs> it's so it, it's it's not very fast and you and you 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 you, you, you It's a very complicated, but but I, I like the idea to, that you, you you can have a very cheap and simple camera to, to take picture of even famous people, um, and so this is a quite normal situation. You 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 have a rearrangement and uh, that's at, at the, the person's hotel, and you you have to deal with the, the how it looks like, um, uh, and many of the pictures. Uh, 
has been taken at ho hotel room with terrible photographic uh, conditions. Um, yeah, you can understand this is from the book, but it's not easy to read. But when, uh, um, this is uh, Annabel Hernandez, um, a, a Mexican writer who lives under constant death threats, threats since her book Narcolan have that criticizes how the Mexican government work together with the drug cartels in Mexico. Um, and uh, I don't know how to do when, when yeah, I'm going to met her. We have just a few, so short time, and she was on a conference. And and I, how can I illustrate that a, a, a woman she living under this kind of pressure that 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 that, that, till that, that the, the government the the police boss, every, everybody, the, the, the cartel wants to kill her. So um, I, um, uh, yeah, it was on a break on a conference in a very small room, and uh, I projected the cover of a book using overhead as a background, and I used a simple desktop lamp as lighting for her face. and. Um, I have uh, different. I have. Well, I take a picture of an. With this, this is the, the, the man who. Uh, the, the, the narcotica leader. But I have over this because they tr they're trying to kill her. So that I, I projected this kind of. You know, when you have on a rifle on, on her. I, I try a different. Uh, but I, I, I. This is the what I decided. No, there was another one. And this is Oscar. So that, that's, that's a lamp. <laughs> you see, <laughs> I use, and then the the overhead is here somewhere. So he was, um, what do you say, pro model? Uh, yeah, yeah. So it happens <laughs> many times, and and then the, the, the that's a picture. So um, I think what can I say? Ah, wait a minute. Um, I I I pass. But this is this is a long story, and I, I think you you are quite tired after the, this day. So I, I continue. Oh oh oh. Okay. Um, this is a this <laughs> this is uh, Asma Yanga here, and um, uh, she is a lawyer and woman rights activist, um, high class from I think she from Pakistan. Was it that Pakistan? And. Uh, so she could uh, decide to live a, a very, very comfortable, comfortable and a rich life, but she, she decided to to help uh, young, poor women. And um, in this time, we were, we were living at, at, at the hostel, and uh, I know she has a very like, some classy, uh, overclass lady, so I, I bring the curtain from our hostel, bring it to the to the the hotel, the top floor, and, and have it some like the background. I think that there is a something. So, yeah, there is. You see the curtain. I I, I steal from, but I leave it back. <laughs> 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 so this was a tent. It was a top floor, and it was a conference. So this is a this is a top uh, top floor and um, a white tent. So it would. Quite nice um, light uh, in, in this session. Um, this is uh, Benny Wanda, freedom fighter for independent West Papua, and um, it was very, uh, I was going to say, uh, curious. Can you say that? Lost it. Like some, uh, the, the, the ones, like some, it's, it was it's close. So we were standing there in front of a lot of people, and in, in, in this. Uh, and so what's amazing is so that this guy we have to, to get contact with. We, we didn't know him. And then, and then he uh, told us his minority from West Papua and uh, fighting for their rights and uh, they have no rights and everything. So we asked him, do you want to be a, a, a member, a part of our project? And he said, of course. Um, because Oscars and I vision was to collect people from all over the world, uh, from Malala, Mandela to the to the young girl from 
Umeå, liksom. Um, they're, they all voices are equal. And um, um, so, you know, you have to, I mean, if you, if, if you have a terror site, you have to terror site, what is it? Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not that funny a photographer when I tell people that's, no, lift, lift like that. No, lift, no, lift, you also have. So the, I think it's it's a democratic way to, to, to let them <laughs> terrorize me. Uh, so during this session, there was a, a team who follow Benny Wendell. Um, Bob Geldof, you know him. And uh, um, you see, it's a very simple picture. I can go back again. You, uh, um, he was stressed and we didn't have much time, so the cir circumstance wasn't that best, but th th that's the way it is. So uh, in it got it's uh, quite many years ago, I used I use this, this old pro flash, but I never used the flash. I just used the lamp. I don't like flash at all, but I, 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 I have no problem to that people use it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. The Dalai Lama, uh, same here, very short time. Uh, I only had time to take. I, I, I have right here four or five shots, but maybe it was three or four. And then the secure people uh, took him away. So he came in. in and uh, it's, it's a very stressful situation. And I put a white paper there and come in and he's smiling. And Oscar take the picture and, and I said to Dalai Lama, please don't smile. And because he's smiling all the time. And then he said, it, it's the first time someone told me to not smile. <laughs> and then I took this and then, okay. So the, it's some few, so that's, 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 that's a, you know, I if you know that, probably you don't gonna manage it. That it may be probably you you're gonna lose him. Uh, so even if you just have some few seconds, you you have to. Are you prepared to that? You have very short time. It can be a very long time, 15 seconds, example. And the problem there with this was the, 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 the you know I take a picture, <sighs> wait one and a half second before it came. So there were, uh, yeah. Um, uh, that's Daniel Domscheitberg, former sp uh, spokesperson for WikiLeaks. He felt hunted by the American Telegram service. Um, s um, there, there, the, the arrow through his head is a reference from, from that feeling. And um, not always, but I, I, I will always, if it's possible, add some kind of um, surrealistic or touch uh, to my picture to, to, to make them more interesting. And um, the, the balance, if it's a serious picture or not, is, is, it isn't like a razor blade. It's, a, it's easy to, to take the over the, the, the what do you call this? <laughs> Edge, yeah. So it's a balance. And then I put in the, the arrows. And uh, of course, you think, what, 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 what's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> um, that's uh, Dennis Bello, an environmentalist. He was born at the refugee center in Sweden. And uh, Dennis is from Nicaragua, the teachers and recreation leaders at school would say. Dennis is from Sweden, people said, when he traveled to Nicaragua when he was a young boy. Uh, and I it was tough, he said. Uh, he felt the most at home on the plane that carried him across the Atlantic. He said, I was stuck in the middle, a little bit bite of both, but also none of either, just like a zebra that neither black or, 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 or white. Um, so, how how shall I do? So, 
um, I bring my zebra. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the way. I'm sorry, it's not a real zebra, but uh, so now I have you. Yeah, so that's the way it is. This look alive, don't you agree? Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of love between them, but they have same. Uh, yeah. uh, this is um, Fatima Nasa. She's from Montenegro and a um, woman rights activist. Became the country's first Roma activist for women rights at the age of 17. And that, that's extremely, um, um, it's very special because the, the, the women in Montenegro and, and in, the, in the Roma culture, they, they, it, they, it's a man's world. Um, she never says that she's a Roma or from Montenegro. She's just, she, she said, just, I, I am a woman. So I wanted to take a picture um, with a tra traditional idea of how a Roma woman sh should look like. Um, but when you turn the page, um, in the book you see the, r the real Id identity that she fights for. Any questions? No? Okay, I'll keep on. Um, Gary Kasparov, uh, former, ah, the, 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 he's a chess, chess player, the, the, the best player in the world. And he tried to start a political party in Russia, but it's not easy if you have to fight against um, Putin. When he tried to find a local that I can, if, if you're going to st start a political party in, in, in Russia, you, you, you need a lo local, you need 500 person. And when he tried to get a, a, a local for that, th there was no, there was no, no co locals in, 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 in Russia. Very strange. Um, so the, it was an hotel. I think 80% uh, of all picture in this project is, is from hotels. Um, uh, this is Henry Rollins. Uh, a, it was Oscar's idea. Hey, Oscar, bring a t-shirt. The war is over if you want. That is a really cool teacher. And he's a very nice guy. Huge, big feet, I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, the working situation. Uh, this is um, um, Gunnar Stordalen, doctor, environmental activist and philanthropist. Uh, she said that uh, she's working with a uh, with health and then food, and that she have a, uh, started the organization. I think the name is Meat. Uh, we said, Eat. <laughs> it was close. <laughs> Eat, yes, mm, of course. Um, uh, she said that studies have shown that people are more afraid of immigration than of climate change in, 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 in Norway. Anyway, I, fi I found a, a chair in the hotel, uh, of course, and she ha has a wig because she ha has a very serious disease that she just received treatment for. Um, uh, when I took this picture, uh, she didn't know if she was going to die next week. Um, so, I take this is the first. Then let's take this off. Um, this is Jessica Jackson. Um, I, I, I don't know why I have this background, but I, I think it was cool. Something happens. Um, um, this is um, Ida Englund from Sweden, talked about earlier, anti bullying activist. In her story, she says, that the breaks during her school years was tough. She used to run away into the forest and hide among the blueberry bushes. 
So I wanted to take a picture to illustrate that. And um, my, my idea was that, you know, uh, there is... Um, um, I don't know where the, 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 the author is from. Um, ah, anyway, my idea was that she should sit down at the blueberry bushes, but she, she couldn't um, bend her knees because of a problem with them. So, sh so my idea, I couldn't realize my idea, but anyway, I took that. Um, um, so, as I said be before, so my, my picture is a kind of bite to, to, to catch the, 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 the viewer to get interested or, of what she is or, or the other participants ha have to, to, to tell us about their experience or their and so on. This is a Marta, a um, woman activist and uh, the world best female football player ever. Uh, until 1979, female football was, was against the law in, in Bra Brazil uh, because it was uh, thought, to, thought to be incompatible with the feminine nature. Um, and I want to have her, her um, flag from her country, of course. Um. This is uh, Alec Weck. Uh, she's from South Sudan. You have been there also? No, but you're talking about Su South Sudan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, she fled f feminine war in South Sudan and became a supermodel. And um, uh, it's not easy to meet a, a supermodel. How, how, how can what, what, what can I do? So, but. I decided to try to take a picture of her both sides. Um, one side, an uh, ordinary African woman um, from a minority, and then a uh, picture, uh, 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 yeah, then the supermodel, Alec, Alec Weck. That's how she looked like. And then the, there is more fashion, and there's. So I bring all this stuff with me. I have uh, often a li little box, uh, yeah, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I bring a lot of stuff. So, and it was, it was funny because I, I, this, this, you know, the, this white thing. You, the, I, I borrowed it from the opera. Uh, you know, there's the, the, a priest or singing, and I ask him, "Can I use this? Because hmm, this it should be nice on on um, naked." Uh, um, African bodies, but but she's not naked. Um, she hides this, is so and I bring this. I bought it with the poem, uh, you know, uh, Tiger. Heather, so you know, this doors, Tiger. You have that here. No, oh, you, you pay 15 krona for this one. She, she with her, and she said, Oh, wow. I want this. I want it. I want to use it when I go to discotheque in New York. So the and this is um, a Sara Larsson, a famous young Swedish artist. She has won attention for her feminist views. So I decided to portray her as the pow young power girl she is. Uh, and I, I, I and. If you know what she is talking about, you can get some uh, idea how you're going to take the picture. And I, 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 ha I have a quote, f a quote from her that she said, I'm living in a country that's supposed to be equal and open, but there is a very sick sexism here. So that's listen, her frustration over the, the men, uh, how they, they treat her in the internet, because they are, she have utsat, what do you call Utsat. Uh, treated by a huge uh, net hate from many young boys in, the lo in this country. And uh, also from a hotel. And uh, I went to show some a, a lady with, with a, uh, yeah, some power. Uh, 
Um, this is uh, Roberto Saviano, author, um, that writes about the Italian mafia and corruption. Um, and after that, he has to, to ch change uh, room, house, uh, nearly every day to survive because the mafia wants to kill him. Um, so we have a very special situation where we took picture of him because you have bodyguards everywhere. And they were, they were I, I want to take the picture outside and it was in, uh, in Rome. And so there, there is, uh, everywhere is uh, bodyguards because uh, behind him there is uh, a house and they're, they're, they are afraid there is a sniper. Um, I were a little bit curious about this uh, this window up there. I remember, and you don't know when you're standing there if there come a, a motorcycle with a machine gun and you shoot you down. So it was quite nervous situation. Um, Ina Shevchenko, women's activist and one of the leaders of Femen, uh, one of the trademarks of Femen movement I is to pose bare-breasted with a political message on their uh, chest. She, she was exiled from her, her home country, Ukraine, and got political asylum in France, where she continues her works. So, um, uh, I, very tough girl. Um, she a bit uh, tortured and uh, told about the, the terrible situation. She, she's she studied at a, a, a good university, and um, uh, if you, you if you if you want to have your examiner, you have to make love with your teachers. That's the way it is. So you you get prostitute, or you be, you get some kind of coffee percolator. That's that's that your that's what you can look forward for in this country. She said. Anyway. Um, um, let me see here where I am. Um, so she's very strong, so I decided to take a picture of her. I, I tried many things I, with, a he, with, a, with a horse, and the, but, but it do, doesn't work. Um, so, uh, so I take a picture of her, with, uh, like Jeanne d'Arc. Um, and then this one, because this is, this is a big part of her, her life. Um, um, and this is uh, um, Anders Kompass, but uh, we, we, we can pass him. There's a so there's a Oscar. Um, this is uh, our, um, that's what, what we have. There, this is a the small recorder. And um, you see, it's not a very fancy circumstance, but it's the way it is. Uh, this is Ruby Rose. Um, She's from Australia, model, DJ, and actress. Uh, she's um, gender fluid and deeply involved in issues, um, um, gender and sexuality. Um, she's, a, she's an actress in the, in the, the film Orange is the New Black. Um, Oscar again. So we... We can borrow a, a bar. There she was. And yeah, I have uh, This is a Tyler Salasi. Um, we have arrangement at the public library. Uh, what can I do? There was a, um, a big, big plant here, and I take it away. There was the only part of this library that you have a, a clean white uh, uh, wall. Um, so um, This is uh, Maria Malkawaya, a human rights activist from Bahrain, was uh, prisoned for the, uh, her activism and uh, she is leader of the Bahrain Center of Human Rights from her exile. She lives under constant online harassment and death threats. Um, 
this picture also taken at that hotel rooftop, rooftop you have seen before. And um, I use a canvas uh, as a backdrop. And um, let her wear my black coat I used to bring with me and a blindfold. I have a black t-shirt and I, I some, um, <laughs> and put a, so like a blindfold to, to her to illustrate the situation. And uh, it's not very easy when you met a person, you know, you don't normally don't know where, where, where they are wearing for c kind of clothes and uh, how, how it looks like when th where you're going to play uh, take a picture of, of them. So that's that's her, her her clothes when she is coming, and uh, we ha we have so short time because in the interview it is 15 minutes and I have maybe 10 minutes and then next next. Um, person to interview or, or, or like that. So, so it's very frustrated that, that, that I shall take a picture of her and her story and her father who's nearly died and, and uh, mostly of every, her family has been in jail. Um, so I, I, it's, not, it's not enough to just take a picture of her like that. So I, I put her, my black coat and the, the the blind fold to, to, to get a much stronger picture to, to illustrate her, her um, situation. Uh, this is a Tutu Alicante, a lawyer and um, corruption fighter from Equatorial Guinea, uh, also on the hotel roof. And um, uh, I'll bring a hat with me. And uh, <laughs> why not? Do you want to try this? Okay. Uh, so we did, and then that's the result. Um, this is Sinebel um, Rassoy. She worked for the Charlie Hebdo magazine, but was out of office the day the terrorist attacks in Paris, you, you know, uh, when they murdered her colleagues, co colleague. Um, uh, since the day she has been under death threat, threats and constant hate. The, the picture is also taken at the hotel room, you can see, when he's reading a Charlie Hebdo magazine. A strong, strong woman, have a, a terrible life because she, she can't go out. Uh, live in Paris and uh, have uh, security of people for 24 hours a day. But she said, I refuse to let terrorists dictate the terms of my life. Uh, that's, that's tough. Um, so that's so sad. And um, uh, she has a lifeguard behind. There is Oscar. And, uh, there's a picture. Uh, that's Kimmy Weeks. Um, has dedicated his life to the rehabilitation of child soldiers in Liberia and the prevention of the, the use of weapon. Um, Patty Smith, um, um, fighter for human rights, as you know, and democracy, environment, and disarmament. Uh, um, uh, uh, not so much to say. Cool girl. Uh, this is Romila, um, human rights activist. Uh, was sold into slavery at the age of six, and she was slave uh, 11 years. Uh, under the system of, of Kamlari. Um, now she's um, um, the boss for the, for the, for the, the system to, to, to destroy all this old uh, tradition with the Kamlari. And um, why I took a mask on her, I, 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 can't, rem I, I, I can't explain. It takes a long time. But the same with her, there was a, a German 
uh, TV team will follow and make a documentary about her. Um, this is um, our Margaret Wallström, Sweden's Minister for Foreign Affairs. Uh, this um, Mirjana Krisanovic, a blind girl that refused to let her disability stop her. She has climbed a mountain in the Him Himalaya and continues to challenge herself. Um, when we interview her, she said that nothing is impossible. And maybe one day she might stand on the moon. So uh, we find an astronaut suit. <laughs> um, and she, she, she's, she's very special. Um, she said, <laughs> it's not special, but she, she's, she's, she, she's a very strong girl. I don't want to be my disability. That, that is not who I am. I don't want to be my disability. That is not who I am. Um, or the, it's illustrated her, her liksom, you, you don't get surprised if you one, one day walking on the moon. So it was hard to find an astronaut suit. <laughs> Many telephone calls, I will tell you. Um, uh, this is uh, a financial journalist uh, or an uh, um, activist from Yemen. Uh, she won international recognition for her blog during the uh, Arabic Spring, and um, she uh, put her uh, um, a Yemen flag on her, uh, but you can't see it because it's black and white. Uh, Sometimes I should I should decide to do, to take the show the picture in in color, especially when you, when you have this kind of nice flag. But um, yeah, um, this is uh, Marina Abramovic, performance artist. She explore, explores the the physical and mental limits of the humanity, and um, as you know, she was one of the the the, the most um, no, uh, yeah, she's 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 uh, really big around the world, um, and um, I read somewhere that they said that that uh, the, the 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 word uh, the, the the word is her weapon. So I get the idea that she bring a Napoleon a jacket, and. Um, uh, when he when he saw it, he sh she sh she tried to to take them off. And um, anyway, uh, she let them be on. But um, yeah, that's that's uh, try to symbol that the, the woman uh, as a as 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 a leader with with incredible power because she's one of the most powerful women I ever met. Um. Oh, what's happened? Uh, I think I I stopped there.